All right, I'm going to do a uh, basic tutorial on DM1, the drum machine, which is a drum machine app for the iPad. And uh, if you don't want to get a dedicated drum machine or you can't afford one, you can use this app with an iPad as a drum machine for practicing or recording demos or recording even. And so uh, I'm going to show you basically how it works. If you look at the upper right of the screen, it says steps, pads, mixer, uh, FX and song. So we're on steps now. This is the step sequencer, which is how we program the drum machine. Pads are exactly that. They're like pads. And so you can tap the pads and tap out patterns on that and record it if you want. Uh, you have the mixer and the mixer will allow you to adjust uh, the levels on each uh, type of drum that you're using in the sequence. There's an FX section here, which we won't go into. And uh, there's a song section, which has the song. You'll see there's a timeline and patterns on the uh, so song screen. The timeline is a sequence of patterns uh, in the song. You can see if you go farther on, you'll see one, two, three, five, six, and then seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Those are the patterns, so 7, 8, and 9 are put on twice so that they repeat. The patterns are below. You can record a number of different patterns uh, for a song and then kind of arrange it later. If you're using it for practice or something, you could just actually create one pattern if you want and just re repeat that or loop through it as you're practicing. So let's go back to steps. You see the steps here. I'm going to just hit play up in the upper left corner. And this is, you can see it changing the different patterns as it's going along. And if we go over to song, you can see the timeline. It's showing where we are in the timeline or the song and what patterns are being played. All right, so back to uh, the song. We can actually load songs here, and so there's some demo songs. This is Crystal out of the demo, demo songs. There are templates. You can load a template uh, for pop, rock, hip-hop, blues, whatever you want. You can start with that template and then edit that, and then there's user where you save your song. Uh, so once again, over to the right here, down a little bit on the screen, you see new, duplicate, and load. Duplicate, if you've loaded a template or even another song and you want to start with that, you can duplicate it and um, and then uh, start from there so you don't overwrite uh, a template or a song. So we're going to start with new. And I'm going to put my song as the name of it. Okay. All right, so we start here, and you can see it's taking us back to the step sequencer. Uh, up at the uh, upper left here, you'll see uh, BPM beats per minute one is 120 now. We can adjust the tempo right here with that control. Here are the different drum sets are next. And uh, the third thing is the pattern. We're on pattern number one. So let's hit play here, and you can see the, the um, lights going across the top signifying it's playing each step. If you look over to the right next to the question mark to the left of it, you'll see there's another button that says song. If you press that in, it will play all the patterns that will play your song. When it's out, when it's not selected, it's just plays the pattern that you're working on. So we're going to start here with the kick drum on one and three, and then we're going to put a snare on uh, two and four, which is a pretty standard beat. And then we're going to put, put claps with the snares. And then let's put put three claps at the end there. So this is our pattern one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on pattern. You see one selected. I'm going to hit copy. And then I'm going to touch two. And what that will do is it will, uh, it will copy pattern one to pattern two. So we're starting off with the same pattern. Uh, and so then we can just change what we want to change on there. So 
Let's take this out. All right, so we've changed the pattern somewhat on there. Now, if we go over to song, you can see we can drag, uh, we can just drag pattern two up there and then back to one. And so we could create as many patterns as we wanted here and, and sort them however we want on the timeline. Now, if we go back to steps, we can also go up here to where the, the drum kits are, go to acoustic, select a different kit. and another kit and see which kit we like best so we could start on one kit but change it around in other words and put it back to classic i think i like that the best all right so that's a basic tutorial on how to use dmi it's a pretty cool uh drum machine it's uh, 7.99 on the app store uh, uh apple app store uh and so pretty cheap way to get a pretty good uh, drum machine without having to buy a more expensive dedicated one.